All right, Spencer, are you good to go? I guess. All right, bar, shut the fuck up. Thank you. <laughs> but look, but also have a good time, but shut the fuck up. Okay, okay, okay. When we last met, our heroes had just been released by the Bone Sages. By the Bone Sages of Tormod Tor. After agreeing to slay the Marsh Minotaur, the party headed toward uh, the party headed towards the farmer's market to look for clues. Jesus Christ, is that me? After a brief chat with Joe to be cheesy, the gang went over a hill and discovered a cave covered in bones. Our heroes entered the cave despite monstrous whales coming with deep within the cavern. Within, I keep saying within, the dark dagness. Our heroes encountered the Marsh Minotaur, who was actually a pretty cool guy. And actually not a guy at all, but a girl. After deeming the Minotaur to be too honorable to be killed in cold blood, the gang banded together with it. But what would they do? How would they escape? And what of their skull curse? And what about the Tarragon of Virtue? Is that is that still something that people are paying attention to? <laughs> We'll find out this time. No, we won't. We'll find out sometime on Harmon Town. <laughs> All right. So you guys might not know what's going on, but this I, time it's justified. Okay, so I describe the surrounding exactly what we're looking at right now. Okay, so you're in you're in this dank, dark cave. It's covered in bones and feces. There's the Marsh Minotaur towering above you. Her udders in full display. She she's like, hey, hey, Marsh, hey, hey guys, Marsh Minotaur. What, do you have a name? I think I I said I had a name in our last step. I don't. What do you want to call me? Let's just uh, Meredith. Meredith. That was my name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Meredith. Yeah. 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 yeah do you yeah. know anything about the Tarragon of Virtue? Uh, I mean, I've, I've heard it's in paradise. I don't really, I don't really know much about that. I'm just in a cave. You're in a cave. All yes. right. Well, I'm, I'm sober as a judge, and I'm not angry. You're and, sober? Yeah. Wow. Well, maybe not as a judge, but <laughs> I'm sober as a relaxed judge. And uh, I, uh, but I, ironically, I can't hear anything. Yeah. Uh, but I think that we should, uh, we should head out of wherever we are. Are there any exits or uh, egress from this cave? Yeah, caves are pretty pretty straightforward. They got yeah. like one exit. Okay. Isn't it notable that Meredith isn't the minotaur that we were seeking after? We... Say again? Is that a thing? We, were, we agreed to go kill the marsh minotaur uh, when we got out of the uh, the, uh, the bone sages tribunal. Yeah, it was part of the, the terms of your release. I, yeah, I, Meredith I, isn't uh, it. I walk towards the entrance to the cave and say, let's get the hell out of here. You right. walk out of the cave and into the dusty gray darkness of the underworld. It's all dusty and gray. Over the hill, you know that the, the city of Tormat Tor is just right over there. But, I mean, do you want to go back there? I don't know. You well, got to get out of here, right? we got to find the tarragon of virtue. Yeah, how do you get to paradise? Uh, well, paradise is is above ground, says Meredith. It's above ground, and we are underground. Don't we have a thing that can make a staircase or go up? Like, don't we have a, like, Yeah, some... you had to rape a cyber skeleton, and it d- got destroyed in that. So, no, you don't. <laughs> you raped a skeleton? Uh, it was a cyber spider. Did I say skeleton? Cyber spider. Yeah. Luckily. Yeah, okay. A lot of mistakes were made. Oh, you're telling me. All right. But... <laughs> You walk out of the cave. I already said that. You're in the dusty gray dustness of the underworld. The Minotaur goes, uh, you guys want to get out of here? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Yeah, me too. I've been down here for too long. Jesus. I've never even seen this marsh in, in, I mean, I have. That's where I'm from. Meredith, may I ride you? No, I'm a bipedal creature. I don't get ridden. All right. Can I ride you? Like you? piggybacks. I mean, you, yeah. You, you don't yeah. do like you don't do like piggybacks or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure it's possible. I'm not down with that. She says while climbing upon and roll range, Sedona. <laughs> it's oh. very heavy. He very. climbs upon Mulrain range, Sedona. She does. She does. She. <laughs> to the there. So Meredith is riding you right now. Yeah, I feel her udders against my back. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's let's go into the marsh. Oh, there's no marsh down here. That's above ground. 
Is it above ground marsh? Yeah, that's where I'm from. I just got I just got sucked I, down here. Have we left the cave yet? Yeah, we're in the the underworld. Or in the proper. dusky dark grayness. Yeah. You know, you guys. I don't know this, but I'm assuming you guys must have fell down here along with a castle. Like oh yeah, we we we, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. we killed Admiral Darkstar and the castle all collapsed and we killed a bunch of people and we got in a lot of trouble for it. So there's a hole in the ceiling, right? Maybe we can get out of that hole, a hole to climb up out of. All right, I climb up. I climb up the hole. You're not you're not by the hole because you you've trekked quite a long way. Right, we went to Skeleton Town and yeah. got accused of all kinds of things. Oh yeah, it was yeah. it was not fun. Okay, let's walk back towards the, uh, the the hole entry. Sure, yeah, that's happening. Uh, as you tread through the dusty darkness, you see your footprints that lead to the city. Those were the footprints you did, you know, you made when you were walking towards the city that one time. You also note a pair of wolf-like footprints, like like that of a wolves, <laughs> like that of two wolves, maybe more than two wolves much newer than your own. And then you reach the crumbling ruined castle. But all is not right. You see, the dark stone blocks of Dark Star's forest are faded with age and look to be crumbling to dust as if they've endured millennia of history. The dark stone blocks, they're just crumbling all over the place. Brilliant sunlight streams down from the hole in the ceiling, hundreds of yards above your heads. Is it climbable, the surface of the hole? No. Bar, bar, <laughs> quiet. We're, we're doing, I, we're doing I, important I, work over here. I don't. I, think I don't know if help. anyone else is having the same feeling, but I know when I was in high school and used to play games like this in a cafeteria, it was identical to this. Like, keep. I mean, let's be loud, but not so loud that they come yeah. over and yell at us. But with the bar, bar. I don't think anyone's going to yell at us. No everyone at the bar. At everyone at the bar. Help us out, please. I really Shut don't up. think that's going to work. No. Use a rap song. But There's no, other no, shitty no, no, bars no. to go to. Go to those. Well, that's it's true. Okay. There's a lot of lovely bars in Austin. Yeah. All right. Well, what's happening? We head towards a goddamn hole in the ceiling. I'm gonna go sit at you, the bar and do this. So if I can you, sit head, with you, you head up. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play at the bar. I'm gonna confront these assholes. All they've learned. That, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> all they've learned is that when that happens, they get to sell their products. <laughs> that's that's, all right. that's right. the only precedent we've I'm set. Sit right here. These loud motherfuckers. All right, go ahead. I'm going to stand next to this newsie. (laughs) All right. I go to the... uh, I I start climbing the side of the hole. There's no side of the hole. How are you guys doing? Imagine if there was a hole in the ceiling of this very building. Like, you couldn't just climb up into thin air. Uh, I know I've asked you this a thousand times, but is my sunrod... That's that stick with the button. That's like a flashlight. The button staff got destroyed. That was the thing that got destroyed. All right. Fine. The the Meredith, she speaks up. She's like, "Oh, man, that's a that's a big hole. You need some sort of crazy, ridiculous ladder to get up there." Yeah, or a teleport cape. Yep, which I have. That's cool. <laughs> teleport cape. You teleport to the surface. Cape a dee doo. <laughs> so uh, Sharpie is is above on the surface world. At the uh, rim of this hole, alone. I, I use my springy shoes. Your what now? I have shoes of springing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You jump 20 feet straight into the I air. Go, oh, yeah! I try to reach down and... <laughs> the hole is 700 yards deep. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, have a, I, I have a escape artist. Can I escape out of where I am to the top of the hole? Uh, not without a, a solid plan or some way to ascend 700 yards. I mean, if you were By escaping up. as an artist, I artistically... <laughs> um, you draw a depiction of your brilliant escape. Yes, <laughs> I do. It doesn't happen, though. I'm coming back to the stage because, you know what? It's not that loud over there. It just sounds loud. I yeah. know. Well, that's the thing. I think yeah. it's an the illusion. The high ceilings, I bet. Yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm looking around for materials on the surface world to see if there's a way that I could, like, <laughs> make a 700-meter ladder. It's frozen tundra. There's no vegetation or anything as far as the eye can see. In fact, no. there's not well, really anything. I have a climbing anything. kit. Can I climb out? Uh, your climbing kit does include rope, but it's only 150 feet of God rope. It's it. not quite enough. If you, if you call down to me, I think I can make a ladder. I have rope and uh, supplies and... Uh, hey, you, make a ladder! You do, but it's it's less than 700 yards of ladder. Meredith again, again speaks up. I, I, 
I actually have a ladder. You have a... Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have it. I if mean, I take this acid, with me. this viral acid, can I have a visual that I'm out of the cave? <laughs> no, it's like burning, killing you acid. No, it's not like... What like about, can, can I use the liar of building to get us out of here? Uh, you could, but it takes some time. Meredith just said she has a ladder. I do. A, a, a several hundred foot ladder? Oh, yeah. This is like a ridiculous ladder. Oh, let's use the ladder. Dick, can we use your ladder? Use the ladder. I mean, I don't have it with me, but trust me, it's like crazy. We're talking, we're talking, Wait, what, uh, it was forged in the pits of Skaldor by double giants. She says she has a ladder, but it's not with her. It's forged in the pits of Skaldor. I might have jumped the gun on this teleportation. Uh, uh, hey, uh, yeah. is, there, is, there, is there a coffee place up there? Nope, just a bunch of snow. All right, and... um, Meredith, wh- where's the ladder? I'll go get it. It's back in the cave. Time passes. While you, while you, while time passes, you guys should talk about your your greatest fears. <laughs> she runs oh. into the darkness. All right. Okay. Commitment. I, am, I imagine that I am at a, an afternoon party, and and someone says, "Let's let's let's create something really cool." And I reach in my pockets and I look at my hands, and they're uh, pool cubes. My greatest fear. I like it. Really? My greatest, I'm going first. My greatest fear is her telling that story again. <laughs> okay. Kitty. Kitty. It's common. Hypothermia! <laughs> oh, a, a serious my, relationship. My greatest fear. <laughs> my, 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 great, my greatest fear, pumas. Sure. It's fair. Yeah. Meredith comes back. She's carrying a crazy ladder. It's like crazy. I helped Meredith uh, put the ladder upright so we can get up there. It's very difficult to do that because this ladder is 700 yards long. I used my my barbarian strength to help the ladder get up. As hard as it is, it is in fact possible. And you accomplish this task. The ladder, it sets up. She's like, we best climb this. But don't worry. I mean, yes, worry. Please be worried. It is a crazy ladder. What sort of craziness might happen? Like you might go crazy. I I don't give a shit. I'm a barbarian. I start climbing the ladder. All right. I'll hold the top. You start climbing the ladder. And as you ascend, you see, you see pumas. Pumas on the ladder. Pumas. Pumas on the ah! ladder. Ah! Pumas. You're terrified. You can't you can't move. You're just stuck move. on this ladder. I, I'm stuck on the ladder. You're about 10 feet up. You see you you see your friend Quark climb 10 feet up Dur- the ladder. I have, I, I'm, I'm plus 10 against pumas. Wait, what? No, I'm kidding. I was paying attention to the side conversation going yeah. on. Is it, I, I, I failed my will save on that one? Or you for- sure did, Quark. You sure did. And you're so, seeing pumas. Guys, get off this ladder. There's pumas everywhere. We're all going to die. We don't see any pumas. There's no pumas. There's no pumas. This, no pumas. this ladder is fucking lousy with pumas. I, 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 I stab Quark in the thigh with a dagger. You can't, you can't reach that high. He's ten feet up. Okay, so I do it, and then I pretend that it was a joke, and I put it in my pocket. <laughs> You do that. It, it does come off like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's hey, fine, yeah. you guys. What uh, does someone else want to do? Shot. Can I use a spell on him that's like uh, from, from this high up? Uh, if I have, for instance, oh, I don't know. Uh, for instance, a little thing called cause fear. <laughs> no, that won't work. <laughs> Promise! If I, if there, I, were, I have a poison dagger. Can I take care of them with that? If I were to use can, charm yeah. person, could I could I just make him happy enough to climb a ladder and stop caring about Phobos? No, he'd just be a good friend of yours that was also terrified. But he but he would he would he wouldn't it wouldn't overcome his fear of No, it would be like he's feeling both of those things. He'd get real confused and horny probably. Uh, Meredith, I what's, shoot them what's with the my deal poison with their... daggers. Say again? I, I shoot them with my poison daggers. So what? The pumas. They're, they're, they're not real pumas. Oh. <laughs> they're imaginary pumas. Yeah, you Mer- see no Meredith, pumas. Pumas! Uh, Meredith, like a, what's the deal? What's the deal with these, with so, these hallucinations? How do we get past that? It's just a crazy ladder. you got to face your fears. Meredith, why would you offer us a crazy ladder? I'm sorry. Do you have any 700-yard long ladders? I'm sorry. Why are you going along with us on this journey if you don't want to help us? Uh, because I want to go back to the marsh. I start kissing Meredith's neck. She's not comfortable with it, but she allows it. Guys, I'm getting killed by pumas up here. Yeah, you feel no you pumas. feel puma claws slashing can I, can, can, into your flesh. Whoa. Can I use my fast stealth to climb the ladder? Yes, yeah, stealthily. I do that. 
You climb up. You seem like no one can see you. You get you get to Quark, and you you can even climb over him without him noticing you. There's plumas. There's well, plumas everywhere. You get, not really. You get thirty feet above him, and then you see a very aggressive looking woman on the ladder climbing down. <laughs> your mother. We gotta go to dinner. We are late. What are you wearing? Are you kidding me? This is the big day. Fine. That's what the lady's saying to you. So wh- It's terrifying. Wait, if what? you're not getting that from my reading. Do I have to get past her? I, I mean, you have to deal with it. Do I have to overcome this emotionally? I don't know, man. Probably. Yes, prob- no. Probably. <laughs> I, I start climbing up the ladder. You climb up the ladder. And you climb and you climb. You get right up to where Quark is. And it seems like the ladder he's on, it's just like, it's broken. It's a bit, it's a bit cracked and messed up. If you could only repair it with, like, your craft skills. It oh, would just... I've got I've to reach into my pockets and... Uh... Then there's nothing in your pockets! Oh! Ah! It's the Pumas! No! Pumas! I, I leap off the ladder headfirst into the cave. That happens. <laughs> The fuck is going on down there? Uh, Just climb up the ladder. This you, is a crazy ladder, Sharpie. You We're, land. You land head first, taking uh, six, nineteen damage. Oh, Jesus Christ! What's your HP at? Can uh, I throw my climb? Uh, am I on top oh, of the hole? One sec. Hold on. I gotta see this. What a if total this is how you on. die. What did I say? Nineteen plus twenty-three. What's nineteen plus twenty-three? Oh, you're 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 not. Sorry, I'm sorry. You're not dead. You're not dead. You're just very injured, and you you think you slipped a disc. Spencer, <laughs> am I on top of the hole? Uh, no, you're about ten feet. No, twenty feet above him, but it's still you know several hundred feet. We got a long way to go. Yeah, and there's fucking pumas, you guys. They're, it's all over the place. So I keep climbing the ladder. Yeah, with your significant other who keeps haranguing you <laughs> incessantly. Wow, Spencer, you're really hitting home here. I know. <laughs> It's terrifying, isn't it? Oh man, she's just going on. Now she's being passive aggressive. Why am I with? Why am I with someone? Oh, you're doing a really great job climbing up the ladder. Great, you're so strong. You're nothing like. Uh, you're everything like my guy friend. <laughs> I built JK. A, I build a fire up here, a uh, campfire. Okay, that happens. It's very soothing and starts to warm your cold bones. I keep I keep trying to press on because I'm so scared of the pumas. I use that fear to, to 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 climb away. Running away from the pumas, they slash at your belly and back. You take uh, some damage of some sort. What? Seven damage. These are fake pumas. I mean, are they? No. All right. Ah! I keep climbing. I'm, oh I'm tough. my god! You get you get eighty feet up. You're pretty far up. All right. Am I the, away from my? Am I there's away a from puma my puma on your back? <laughs> you got no idea, Spencer. <laughs> Oh, cool, Neil. Is that a stain on your shirt? Neat. You're like Jackson Pollock. You're going to be the coolest guy at this party. Great. Don't change. I tell her I'll be in the car <laughs> when she's ready. Yeah, she's, she's like, you always say that. But then she doesn't speak anymore. Uh, Yay! I, uh, Mo- That's all it takes? <laughs> Sometimes. Mo- Moraine is writhing on the floor, right? Yeah, yeah. In pain. Uh, I, I take out my uh, a dagger, and I, I put it on the ground. That's my move. All right. You place the dagger gently on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> or not gently, whatever you want. What, uh, what does other people do? I keep climbing. You keep taking puma damage, bro. Uh, I don't give up. Now, the puma's been on my back so long, now it's become like a scarf. Like, I'm, I'm getting used to this puma. It is kind of warm. Yeah. You get 100 feet up as, as Christaberg also keeps climbing. You guys are maybe halfway up the ladder. Oh, well, I, I climb too. All right. But as you climb up, it's fine. Like, you don't seem anything anymore. It's almost as if the slip disc might have deactivated some part of the delirium factor. That's how vertebrae works. <laughs> that's what chiropractors would tell you. Yeah. They, they, no, that's... They, yeah, they think, think I got fixing the your idea. back will cure a cold. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. I, we all keep climbing up. You keep climbing up and you keep taking puma damage. I, puma damage? 
It's not fun. <laughs> Imaginary poop that, damage. That's my current pitch for the name of the episode. <laughs> You get you get more than halfway up. You guys are all the way almost up. Mulrain's trailing behind. She's a bit slow because she has a slipped disc. That's very painful. If anyone's ever experienced that, it hurts a lot. <sighs> yeah. You keep climbing and you keep climbing. And Mulrain, you see, you see Quark. He's covered in gash marks. Like uh like, you know, he's bleeding heavily. Like he should be like it's making the ladder slippery. It's hard hard to deal with. Bro, you're bleeding. I know this Puma's Puma damage. I I miss that girl and I play uh, everything I do by Peter Tara. <laughs> you feel uh contemplative or something. I honestly didn't hear what you just said. <laughs> I keep climbing. Yeah, you keep climbing and bleeding bleeding all over the ladder but you get you get to where Neil is I mean Christopher he's three quarters up of how the close way are we up. to the top are we you're very close you're pretty close you're you're not quite close but you're almost getting to pretty close can I use my climbing kit now or am I yeah. 150 feet away yeah you can lash I use my the climbing kit it makes it so much easier. You have no risk of falling off the ladder. And with your newfound confidence, you just soar to the top and, and see Sharpie. He's made a fire. I've and, made a fire. Uh, and of I, course I, I you would need this help. crocodile. That happens. I, I go into an, a barbarian rage to shrug off these, uh, these perceived pumas. And I, and, I, and I use all my barbarian powers to climb up the, the final way. Raging like a barbarian, you attempt to climb the ladder. Raging. Like a raging person with anger problems might climb a ladder. Uh, yeah, yeah, you climb it. You're bleeding. You're bleeding and climbing. You get to the top and you see, you see a fire. And Sharpie and Christopher. Hello. Are, are we all up here or is Mulrain still down? Mulrain's still coming up. Mulrain, get up here! Okay. Can I throw her down a climbing tool? Yeah, yeah. You can lower your climbing kit. I do that. She. You, I try to catch it with my mouth. <laughs> yeah, you catch it right in your mouth. What? Did you roll a 20? I rolled a 15. Jesus Christ. It was dropping straight down, you know. Right in the teeth. All right, I get the climbing kit and I swallow it. It's it's very large to swallow. Like you can't even. Okay. Fit in your mouth. I, I gag on it. I take it out. Uh, I put it in my back pocket, and I start climbing up the ladder again. You keep climbing up this slick, bloody ladder. Lori oh, lost her mind a few rounds ago, guys. I'm uh, committed uh, to this. The the ladder is bloody and it's slippery. So, okay, so the ladder is bloody. I uh, I decide I want to become a shadow. So I cover myself with all the blood that I can find so I'm as dark as possible. That happens. And like Carrie, I rise from Wait, the what? rope ladder. I mean, what? I, I, I never saw Carrie. Uh, she's covered in blood, Spencer. Oh, I, I, I got that. You've seen pictures of Carrie. You've seen GIFs. GIFs? Do you, but you understand the concept of Carrie. Oh, yeah. She's like a girl, and she doesn't have friends, and then she kills herself. Uh, well, Not what happens? No. Not what happens? <laughs> she, gets, that... she gets teased and covered in blood, and then she, she kills everyone because she's teased. Well, that's a triumphant story, right? <laughs> I, I think so. I saw Carrie, and I was like, I, I was Carrie. Most of my friends were Carrie. Uh, so I cover myself in blood like Carrie. Uh-huh. It makes it really even more slippery. So that happens, or yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, small rain. Are you coming up or what? I don't know, man. I'm confused. I'm covered in blood. I, I continue to climb up the ladder. You continue to climb. I use up the, the climbing ladder. kit. Using the climbing kit to secure your ascent, you get to the top of the ladder and you see all of your good friends surrounding a fire. We made it to the top of the ladder. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's a. <laughs> That, that was harder than it looked. Ne- next week, we're going to pay our gas bill. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith also climbs the ladder, and she crests the top and gets up there with you guys. Thanks for all the help. Uh, great ladder. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Let me tell you. Uh, I guess it's true what they say about minotaur ladders. 
What do they say about Minotaur ladders? They're shitty. <laughs> They're they're terrible counterproductive ladders. Yeah. I, I didn't. They're, they're, they're like they're like the Uber of ladders. <laughs> I didn't I didn't make this ladder. It was forged in the pits of Skaldor by double they, giants. They don't work. Uh, well, I sing our, our our of course our song about how uh, how we're gonna go into battle or get Are back you? to a marsh. <laughs> I, you sing that. How does it go? How does it go? Hide a hood, hide Through a hood, dungeons hide. dark and campfires hot. Boom. Through the sauce in cooking pots. Boom. Boom. We are dwarves and people too. Boom. Boom. When you make dwarves. three movies out of one book, Boom. Boom. there's stuff that you have to fill Boom. Boom. with extra time, so much to kill. Golden dragon baths in all kinds of forges. All of the characters will live to the end. We already know that. We read the book when we were nine. And so we know all 20 of these people will be fine. But you made 70 movies about it. So now we have to watch Orlando Bloom CG jump across barrels. That's Hermitan, everybody. Thank you for coming.